Hello everybody, and welcome to this video showing you the basics of Push the Lane. I'm Keith Burgun, this game's main and only uh, developer, and I am going to be showing you how this game works. So um, before I mess around and play too much, uh, well actually while I'm talking and I'll introduce it, I'll just walk around so you guys kind of get a visual sense of what happens. Um, so we have these three lanes, and these gems smash into each other. And when they do, they subtract from each other's numbers, you see? So with 4 and 18, that's going to become a 14. See? Um, and so by that process, they push, they push the lane. So now if this gem goes all the way to here, which I think it's actually not... Oh, it is going to. Ready? So it's going to hit there. Boom, it did. And you see what happened? This actually moved one tile to the left. Um, if this can push all the way this way, I should collect some of these. Um, if this can push all the way this way, uh, watch, it's going to push again. So this will turn red. Ready? Boom. See? Now, if this can push, like I said, if this can push all the way this way, then when, uh, these gems hit there, they actually start getting points up here. So, um, you want to start manipulating the lanes, taking their gems out so you can swap places with lanes. Um... Let's see, you can also use this ability. This will switch the polarity. This will change the color. See, that one's a, a big, bright uh, yellow lane. A yellow uh, gem, rather. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, I'm going to swap that out. There we go. Um, you also... This character. And now every character is going to be eight characters. Each character is going to have their own abilities. Uh, boom. That squishes that and splits it into two one gems. Um, see, now what's cool is, now I've been taking, um, the gems out of that lane, you see, here. And, um, that's good because it's, I'm, I'm helping push back this top lane, right? But the problem is, at some point, this, this, like, blue, these, uh, in between lanes are, it's just gonna get full up. And at some point, I'm gonna have to walk through them and go like this, you know, and, like, swap it back in, which is terrible for me. Um... Yeah, so, uh, let's see. I could swap this guy's polarity. That seems like a good move. And look at that. I got an easy, cheap, uh, boom. Push that lane back a little tiny bit. But see, as I've been working on these lanes, this lane's completely pushed, and I've started, they've started scoring. And if they get to 10 points or whatever, uh, I don't know what the number will be. But right now I'm saying 30, but I think that's too high, probably. Um, boom. This, this ability pushes everything back. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the basic idea. Now, th that would be almost enough to be a real whole game, but not quite. So what else do you do? You see I'm, this, I'm collecting these little crystal things. I'm getting cash every turn, and I go to the shop. Now, these, ser these things actually do a lot of stuff like long term. So the gem factory will create one gems every five turns with three charges. So it's actually going to produce gems. Uh, and you have to put it on a gray tile, those in between tiles. Uh, vacuum will pull gems, uh, actually that's incorrect, it'll pull gems downward, to, uh, into the next, uh, lane, and reactors will pump up the value of, uh, so let's try it, let's buy, buy a reactor and a gem factory. Okay, so, let's make a gem factory here, and then I'm gonna build this here to pump up, oh, but see, oh, that was kind of bad because, oh, actually that was fine. I really wish I could swap with that. Ooh, I pumped up a bad gem. That was not smart of me. Um, I really want to swap this guy back in. Oh, see, he's getting pumped up, this guy. Yeah, that's good. Boom. And that also, yeah, pumps him up even more. Now I got a nice, strong gem there. That's good. Now I got to worry about this bottom lane, though. I really got to get down there. Um, I don't want to swap that out or that. I right, jump down there. Boom. Okay, good. So now I can uh, swap you out, I suppose. It's not the best. Um, I need two more turns. Nice. Boom. There we go. So now I'm going to be pushing this lane back. I'm going to do this to bop this. Oh, I couldn't. Never mind. Oh, it worked. Nice. Oh, and did they combine? Good, they did. Yeah. There's some text errors, but it's actually the logic is working. Now this should start pushing this back. If it's not, it's just a bug. So like I said, this is a very early version of the game. But... So now, yeah, I've got this one guy here, but you can see how, let me actually show you the vacuum, because that's one of my favorite ones. Vacuum, buy, 
uh, exit. It looks the same as the other one right now, but it's not. So let's say I uh, use the vacuum. The best place to use the vacuum, there's a lot of ways to use the vacuum, but let's put it here. See, it sucks, or it should. Oh, it sucks until it reaches a lane. That's right, that's right, that's right. So if I put that there, right, I see. So yeah, what you wanna do actually is get a uh, gem factory and put that here. And now watch this, this will produce gems and then they'll get sucked in by this vacuum. You see how that works? And so now I've created a little machine and this is like the simplest form of this kind of machine, but you can build these like elaborate networks um, later on. So anyway, this is a pretty much the idea. Hey, I've got a couple points and I've stopped the bleeding down here. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see how this game will start to work. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.